PZA by Stella Hackathon starts on the 12th of October in London. I was trying to come up with ideas of what I could do to help participants as much as possible. I came up with this idea for a boilerplate code, kind of a starter pack for the hackathon. What this includes is a Soroban smart contract, which has a key value store, and then a React app, which uses the Seller SDK to connect to that. In this video, I'm gonna go through that code and show you how to get it set up and started so you can build out these centralized applications on Soroban. And then we'll go through some other ideas for the hackathon. Okay, so all this code is open source on GitHub. There's a link to it in the description. We can go ahead and fork this repository using this URL here. We're gonna end up with something like this file structure here, which includes a folder for Soroban, which is the smart contracts. If we go into contracts here, source, and have a look at this lib.rs file, we can see we've got, we're importing a Soroban SDK into this Rust file. We're then setting the starter contract as the name of the contract, and then doing a contract implementation. We've got three public functions here. We've got set, which takes a key and a value. We've got a get, which is a getter, which takes a key and returns a symbol, which is a small piece of a small string for up to 32 characters. And then remove, which just deletes that key. So what we've got here is a very simple way to store data as a key value pair coming from a decentralized application, or anyone can invoke this. There's no security inherent within this contract. If you wanted to kind of permission some of these functions, you need to add that in. But anyone can store a key value pair and then kind of go out and get that data. And that data is stored within a Soroban smart contract hosted on the Stellar decentralized network. If we come back out of that and into the main root directory, we can go into the source. And this is our React app. So this is the front end, this is the D app, and it's built in React. And it's a very simple, we're kind of importing the RPC network for the Soroban testnet, which is the same network that the contract's deployed on. We've got a contract ID here. We've got a hard-coded account in here. You wouldn't use this in production, obviously this is just for testnet. And then we've got some operations to handle, set, get, and then we've got a little form. If we open up a terminal, and we run npm start. You can see we've got this very simple demo D app where we can add a key. So name, James, we can set this value and then we can go out and get that key. And it will return the value from the smart contract. If you participate in the hackathon, or if you're just interested in building in on Soroban generally, then this can be either be used as a starting point to build out whatever you want to build for the hackathon, or you just use it as an example for how to kind of get data from your dApp into a Soroban smart contract and get it out again and, and store key value pairs on this serverless blockchain network. If you're interested in front-end development, then why not check out the Stellar SDK? This is a JavaScript library that you can integrate into web-free front-end for your decentralized applications to create cutting-edge web-free experiences. One emerging technology that I've been looking at recently is the pass keys. This is, uses the web authentication libraries, which are native now to modern browsers, so you can authenticate using biometric data. We can use these within Stellar using a native contract function to verify those signatures and create smart wallets for our users. This means we can have passwordless, walletless connections and authentication for our users. This has far-reaching implications because it can streamline the registration process for a new user, meaning they just can just click a button, they don't have to register, they don't have to give email, they don't have to download a wallet and then load it with funds. You can have sponsored transactions, pay the transactions fees, and the user can just set up a wallet at the click of a button. If Web3 developers can outcompete Web2 developers from a conversion rate optimization perspective, they can put us in a very good position to create applications that can, can attract a new mainstream audience. If you're interested in the connection between traditional finance and decentralized finance, then something that might be of interest to you is the Anchor Protocol. This is a set of standards and tool, a toolkit for developers to build on the Stellar network, integrate traditional finance rails into digital assets. The platform implements a set of standards known as Stellar Ecosystem Proposals, and this ensures the interoperability and smooth communications between exchanges, wallets, and other platform providers that are building on the Stellar network. There's things like KYC, AML, compliance tools, multi-currency support, transaction processing and settlements, integration with payment providers, and customization options so you can put this together and make it work for what you're building in the space.
The end goal is to provide a superior end user experience so that all the different moving parts within a blockchain network are working together seamlessly using a set of standards which enable users to on off ramp currencies and move funds around in the digital ecosystem. If you're around London on the 12th of October, then hopefully you'll be able to join myself and other developers building on the Stellar network. There's some great prizes up for grabs and there's more details in the link in the description. Thank you for watching.